This is Face the Nation, broadcasting live from the CNN IBN headquarters in New Delhi with Sagarika Ghosh. Kashmir's stone pelters have thrown Kashmir into turmoil. Omar Abdullah's government and center look helpless. The Prime Minister says he's willing to consider autonomy. But is autonomy the answer or is the answer to craft a new way of belonging? We are trying to build bridges tonight. We have a unique panel. For the first time on television, young Kashmiri Muslims and young Kashmiri Pandits are face to face in our studios. And we will ask them if they can ever transcend religion and be Kashmiris and uphold Kashmiriyat and Kashmiri pride. Before our discussion, let's get you a report on how the BJP is trying to reach out to Kashmir's youth. This is the latest attempt by the BJP to bond with the minorities. Leader of opposition Sushma Swaraj in rapt attention, listening, suggesting and putting across her party's stand on the Kashmir problem. The crucial elections in states with a sizable Muslim population not too far away, many are seeing this as nothing more than vote bank politics. So when students are asked about the initiative by the Saffron Brigade, they're clear that much more needs to be done. I think it's a wel welcome step, we should appreciate it, uh, but at the same time, uh, I'm not hoping too much from such things. People st you know, sitting in Delhi, having a dialogue, should feel the pain of the misery of Kashmiris who are facing the wrath of armed forces in Kashmir. The students spoke at length about the recent stone pelting incidents and gave their version of the reasons and the possible solutions. The BJP leader was clear that everything would have to be achieved within the constitutional framework. After listening to the young minds who were repeatedly talking about independence, this is what Sushma had to say. The BJP's youth wing has now been told to be receptive to the minorities in a way like never before. For a party in opposition, experiments of this kind are perhaps the need of the hour. In New Delhi, Divimanu Chaudhary. So we have this unique young panel and we're going to ask what are the stereotypes that have to be questioned. The stereotype is the Kashmiri Muslim anti-India. That has to be questioned. Is the Kashmiri Hindu a refugee in his own land? That too has to be questioned. And can the question be asked, can the uniqueness of Kashmir, can Kashmiri pride, Kashmiri distinctiveness be accommodated in the India story? Joining us tonight, Aditya Raj Kaul, founder, member of Roots in Kashmir, is here with us. Radhika Kaul, activist of Roots in Kashmir. They are representing the Kashmiri Pandit community. And we have from Kashmir, Syed Sarmad, student of the Islamic University of Science and Technology. Asma Rashid, student of the Islamic University of Science and Technology. Now, the average age on this panel is 20. They are 20, 21, 18, and 24. That is the average age. Let's hope and pray that they can think differently from their previous generation. What's the initial result of our SMS poll? We're asking, should young Kashmiris transcend, think beyond religious stereotypes? What are you telling us? 81% there are saying yes. Let's get straight into our discussion. Sayed, you know, you're saying, you see our poll there, 81% saying think beyond religious stereotypes. Now, should a young Kashmiri like you, when the Prime Minister has reached out, when the BJP is reaching out, should you still, uh, you know, seek refuge in Azadi and separatism and we hate India and India go back? Shouldn't your language change? Uh, first of all, I strongly object the title of this program, Kashmiri Pandits versus Kashmiri Muslims. I think, don't trivialize the issue. The issue is that what Kashmiri people want. Don't communalize the situation. Kashmiri people is on the roads demanding azadi, demanding that we want to be heard. And this is what we want. And this is why we are here. No, you want azadi or you want to be heard? Both at the same time. When people will uh, sit on a table... And what does azadi mean? What does, what does azadi for a young person like you mean? Why don't you want to be a part of, the India's, of, of, of India's story? Well, uh, this is a question that uh, should be discussed. And uh, there should be a platform that mm -hmm. we all will sit, to, is, will sit together and discuss. Aditya, let me let me put it to you. You know, you're you're a you're a Kashmiri pundit, and 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 you know, as Sayed is saying, why why can't you consider him a part of the India story? Why why, for example, does someone like you not go back to Kashmir? Who said I don't? 
they are like my brothers and sisters mm -hmm. they've always been my brothers and sisters but unfortunately it hasn't been stereotyped i think secularism of the valley ended in 1990 the kashmiri that you talk, talked about in the question it ended in 1990 with the exodus of 7 lakh kashmiri pandit but pandits. asma is that true would the kashmiri pandit not be welcome back to kashmir if he wanted to go there i mean uh, i think it's it's really a kind of a notion which has spread throughout uh, um, uh, throughout the place that if a kashmiri pandit comes back uh, he will be harmed I would like to uh, ask uh, not a question actually this is a fact that there are still hundreds and hundreds of pundits I'm not saying that there are lot many pundits back home but there is a many school minority of uh, pundits in Kashmir mm -hmm. still and you tell me how many of them have been touched so far after the time you left yeah. and can I can I can I let, 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 let me get you know let me also get get, get you to respond to what Asma saying and also what Sai is saying is that why don't people like you also respond to the human rights violations to the no, police I'm brutality you, why should we discuss these things we should discuss 60 people have been killed there are in the sense of unfortunately and it took 50 civilian killings for prime process. minister to say yes there is a problem unfortunately the problem, there has been a fair psychosis pandits and six have been continuously being targeted there have been threatening letters in the gurdwaras and temples in the recent times in the last two months unfortunately this can't be reported But when there was a recent uh, demonstration, uh, Radhika at Jantar Mantar, and the Kashmiri youth were demonstrating there, why did the Kashmiri pundits come and unfold banners of Panun Kashmir? Why couldn't they also join hands with the Kashmiri brothers and sisters and talk about human rights violations? Because as Sayed and Asma are saying, these are just reality. See, I will not deny that human rights violations took place, and we honestly feel for them. There is no justification for for things that have been taken that have been taking place in Kashmir. what happened in jantar mantar was that we also have a side of uh, we also have one side of the story which needs to be told along with what hap what is happening in kashmir so what happened in uh, jantar mantar was a very sad demonstration but do you appreciate that it took so Sagarika, many deaths for the government to Sa wake up sagarika one slogan which triggered unhappiness a very very much sadness in me was that azadi ka matlab kya la ilaha illallah hum kya chahte hain nizam e mustafa if this is if they want an Mrs. islamic Hai. state we are not for it we want a we want to jammu kashmir and ladakh as a integral part of india and it will stay and uh, there was an incident yesterday we were wearing black bands and we are wearing it today as well and we were we are protesting the innocent civilian deaths this is and a one of the kashmiri pandit guys. kashmiri pandit girl said if you're protesting for this i want to wear it too and she wore it yes, like yes, here i support that i, I mean support uh, the support problem is uh, the new delhi fails to recognize that is a, that there is a problem when there is mm -hmm. lull is while lull in violence nobody talks mm -hmm. and when people are there on roads demanding that they should be heard mm -hmm. demanding that azadi should also be on the table we are labeled as stone pelters and the ones who are instigated by pakistan mm -hmm. and this is an insult for me i protest but but i if protest you're going to keep on saying azadi if you're going to say india go back if you're going to say we hate india then what kind of response do you expect except from the government add, of let india let me add one thing uh, bjp congress rss they keep on saying kashmir is an integral part of india we will not have azadi on the table but we discussed azadi with sushma swaraj today mm -hmm. and this should be the response from new delhi the yes today we were in new delhi discussing azadi so then if the bjp asma is willing to if, if the bjp is willing to discuss azadi then why are you so alienated why are you throwing stones and engaging in violence i mean uh, i think this is for the first time in history this happened i mean so far kashmiri youth uh, and kashmiri people have not been addressed it took our chief minister mr omar abdullah two months to actually go to the hospital and see the uh, mm -hmm. uh, injured there and not only i mean nobody from the center so far has actually sympathized or empathized with us mm -hmm. i mean prime minister speech was a was a pretty good prime example that's what i'm saying uh, okay. it took it Very took mr prime minister a lot of time it took him almost sure. one and a half month sure. what took him so much of time why this criminal silence on kashmir Sa issue sagarika there's no silence i my my heart pains when there is violence on the street of kashmir when my brothers get killed when eight eight year old kids get killed in kashmir my heart pains but at the same time why don't but it's why don't, azadi that what, makes you uncomfortable no 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 not just not just azadi, azadi. Makes you not just azadi why don't the civil society of jnk why not learned youth like sayed come out on streets against separatists against the killers of kashmir we know the who the instigators are let them jointly come i'll go to shrinagar i'll fly to shrinagar and hold their hands Can and I speak I against sayed ali shah gilani but well, you can't dump sayed ali shah gilani he has a voice he's representing a sizable section of society you can't deny he's that they are kashmiris i will be blunt that's your tip i'll be blunt your tip people I mean, in shrinagar for majority of people in jammu ladakh